This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the Premier Trade Market Wrap. This is the Market Wrap on a Thursday. I'm Jack Lott here on the James Dix Financial Network. First time claims for state unemployment benefits for the week ending March 22nd fell 9,000 to 366,000. In another major economic report released today, gross domestic product increased at a feeble 0.6% annual rate through the October and December quarter. The reading, unchanged from a previous estimate a month ago, provided stark evidence of just how much the economy has weakened. In the previous quarter, the economy clocked in at a sizzling 4.9% growth rate. American Express said that it will acquire GE Money's corporate payment service for $1.1 billion in cash. A Texas judge ordered banks to fund the proposed $19 billion buyout of Clear Channel Communications by two private equity firms. And in other news today, Boeing said it has received an order for three 737 aircraft worth about $221 million. Boeing has more than 2,100 unfilled orders for such next generation 737 models. That's worth more than $150 billion at list price. Scheduled economic reports coming out at the end of the week on Friday, personal incomes, consumer spending, core inflation, and consumer sentiment. In earnings news, Lennar, one of the nation's largest home builders, reported a loss of $88.2 million. That's 56 cents a share. Conagra. They say their third quarter profit was up 60% and it raised prices and improved sales. Conagra reported net income of $309 million or 63 cents a share. And William Sonoma said net income climbed to $124.6 million or $1.15. Analysts were expecting $1.12 a share. Scheduled earnings coming out on Friday Cherokee International, KB Home, Steelcase, Echo Therapeutics, and Shearing AG. Some of the stocks in the news today, Motorola's investor Carl Icahn called the company's plan to split into two separate companies, much delayed and long overdue. Edison International says it be, uh, began an $875 million solar energy project that will generate enough power to serve about 162,000 residents. And Fred's Inc. reported a fourth quarter net loss of $4.4 million or 11 cents a share after taking a $14.6 million store closure charge. And that is the market wrap. On this Thursday, I'm Jack Lott, and this is the James Dix Financial Network.